Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. I'm Theron. I use the name pronouns and I'm so excited for today's video. In today's video, we are going to be dyeing my hair. This is part two of lightening and dyeing my hair for Halloween. And I am actually dyeing my hair purple and green. So if you want to see that, stick around. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you. If you are returning, welcome back. I really do appreciate you. My social medias are linked in the description box, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, Pinterest. Link down below for you if you decide to give me a follow. Thank you and now let's get into today's video so in my last video I lightened my hair using the hyper lift um, cream color from age beautiful so if you want to see my thoughts on that go back to that video I will leave a link to it in the i cards and in the description box if you want to check that video out and all the products I used is in another video that I will also link for you if you want to check that out because I'm not going to go into all the products so I do want to talk about the color that I got I got this color from underground cosmetics and it is UV reactive I did purchase a UV um, flashlight it'll be here sometime this month so hopefully at the end of this video you will see the hair glow under UV light and if not I will definitely have it on my TikTok and or on Instagram depending on um, if I remember where I'm going to put it it will be over there so you can see it the final results but I'm going to try to put it in at the end of this video but I have step two of the ion boosting system in my hair. I'm going to go rinse it out, wash my hair, and I'm going to actually move us into the bathroom to dye my hair. I usually do it in my room and I usually film it, but it's actually getting late. And so it's, I might as well just like take it to the bathroom because my sister's getting home from work and is going to be tired. So I'm going to move us into the bathroom, rinse this out, and I'll be right back to start the dyeing process. So we are now in the bathroom and it's time to dye my hair. So I just rinsed out um, step two and I also washed my hair, just the roots and it's time to finally reveal it again and looking at it in different lighting it always seems to change on what it looks like i definitely say to use step two after lightening your hair or bleaching your hair um because it made my hair feel really good afterwards because it was like really dry after doing all of that and it doesn't feel so bad now so I would say that's a 10 out of 10 and we're going to do a test strand um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the color I want the pattern I want because I might be able to do like the ends and stuff um, but we shall see I also might end up buying a darker green and like doing it that way again I'm not concerned about the purple purple showed up the green is looking a little light it's looking a little light and I might I have some green that I might add to it and the color I'm going to be adding to it is Adore's Green Apple. So you can see. And so here are the two colors next to each other. I think I'm going to end up going with this shade because I can see it. And that's kind of the point of the color. So you can see it. So I sectioned my hair and I made the darker green. I probably gonna end up ordering another neon the neon green or the darker green and the diluter just to make sure that it um, can actually glow under UV light and just re-dye it later on. Um, 
but I really cannot go anywhere looking like this. So we're going to just dye it and hopefully it turns out right. It's kind of giving me either slime from Nickelodeon or Shrek, but that's what I was going for. So while I'm dyeing my hair, we can talk Halloween. So I just put in an order for stuff from Joann's and I'm so excited. I finally got the Halloween bakeware stuff that I've always wanted. That's the good news. The bad news is that something about six to 10 business days until it like, arrives and I'm like six to 10 business days. What do you mean six to 10 business days? So it's probably gonna be after this call, this video before you even see that haul. What is everyone doing for Halloween? Like, what are you dressing up as? Are you dressing up? Are you passing out candy? Are you going to a party? We are probably going to go trick or treating with my little sister, and we all have like costume ideas. And if you have a costume idea already, what are you going as? Because me and my sister are doing like the Adams family and my other two sisters are going as um, Ursula and Uma. That's what they're supposed to be anyway. I don't know if that's going to be the plan. I'm going as Morticia, and my sister is going as um, Wednesday, and my dog is going as a spider, which is totally on theme because Wednesday has pet spiders, and they are like, like I don't remember the name. That's what the plan is and we're probably gonna go just trick-or-treating around the neighborhood and probably take some photos because we've never actually had like coordinated outfits for Halloween and I'm saying this now I will not be buying a wig for Morticia Adams I didn't like want to buy a wig because I wouldn't get that much use out of it and that's not really how I want to spend my money on something that I'm not going to, you know, wear that often. And so I'm going to be going with the colored hair that I have right now. And then we are also like going to Comic-Con and I'm going to film it because I'm just like, I've never been. And I am using my hair color as part of my cosplay because I planned my hair color in advance before I even knew Comic-Con was going to be coming nearby. And so I already planned on doing my hair this color. And I didn't want to wear a wig or buy a wig just because I was like, cosplaying is already expensive and if I can buy elf clothing pieces that can be an outfit, I'm gonna do that so I can, you know, reuse the clothing, like what I'm doing, what I am doing for my Morticia uh, outfit um, costume. So I am going to be using my hair color as part of my cosplay, and I'm going as Claudine and from Monster High, and so. I already ordered the outfit and it's going to be here this week. I'm so excited for it. My favorite one is obviously the vampire, Dragulora. But I wasn't planning on dyeing my hair green, uh, pink and black. I was planning on dyeing my hair green and purple. And that is Claudine's colors. And that's why another reason why I wanted to get um, outfits that I could make with the um, cosplay so that I can wear it when I'm not cosplaying as Claudine. And because like that's not the character I usually would want to cosplay only because I love vampires more than werewolves. 
I will say this um, hair dye is actually very easy to apply. I haven't really dealt with a difficult hair color to apply, like hair dye that's difficult to apply. Now, I don't know how well it comes out of the hair, if I'm going to be struggling. I haven't dyed my hair a dark color in a long time because it takes forever to get out of my hair. I also had purple hair for a long time, like a year. The thing about like ordering something online is that you can't see the differences between the two colors because I was debating between chartreuse and neon green and the neon green and the chartreuse looks slightly different but not different enough for me to like oh i should get this one over this one i just decided to get chartreuse because it looks more like spooky green color um it's a very light color so i would definitely say if you are going to use it I would suggest making sure that you don't have any previous color in there, especially a color like pink, <laughs> like I have in my hair. Um, if you're gonna have a hair color underneath it, you want it to be like yellow or nothing. Just have like really light hair. I would say it's like the lightest green that it could be neon. Haven't have my hair this dark since 2019 <laughs> because it takes four and ever to get out of my hair and we're really gonna test how long it takes to get out of my hair I've been doing like really light colors and pastels uh, I did do red so, I'm not going to say I didn't do red, but red um, was like the darkest that I went and that took forever in my hair to get out of my hair and I don't want to dye my hair that color again because it takes that time to get out. I looked good with it and I felt good with it, but I wanted to change it. I was like, wow, this looks good. I want to change it and what really messed me up is that I dyed it, I, I re-dyed it a month after dyeing it and touching that up and then trying to get it out and then going from red to like silver or trying to go red to silver did not end up working so I'd go like from red to purple to green to gray to pink and blue. <laughs> And so, yeah, I wonder if me adding this not UV reactive green is going to affect the color when it comes down to reactive, reacting to UV. It's really funny. I dyed my hair green and pink last summer, like, um, I don't remember her name, but she's from like Monster High as well. It wasn't, I didn't know that until I have already dyed my hair that color, that it was like her hair, otherwise I would have cosplayed it as her. Um, but I dyed my hair um, green and pink last summer and I'm trying to dye over my pink hair with green <laughs> and it's I also dyed my hair green over the pink last winter trying to like cancel out the color so basically I'm trying to cancel out this color but also dye it this color and it's not turning out well. I'm not gonna label this as a video. I might not even let this video go out until I fix the green. So I'm gonna let this sit 
and to the end of Wally, I'm going to rinse it out, and you'll probably not see it until maybe Tuesday, or when I do something else. So, yeah. <laughs> I just got a package an hour ago. Get some more hair dye. Now, I got more hair dye because this portion right here is too dark for the color to actually look nice. So I got some more hair dye to kind of fix it. I got their darkest shade. I got the same brand. Um, their bold green, which looks like this. I got the bold violet because I wanted to add a bit more purple because it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be just a little bit darker and also I needed to add I need to add some like right here because this is a lot of green and you can barely tell like in this whole section you can't even see the purple so I got that and I got the illuminate which is like the clear shade to lighten the colors up so it's not too dark also if i like eventually want to like do purple again i already have would already have this one i could just and make it a lighter purple or something i don't know i really quickly want to show you the color how it looks right now and i got the uv light so this i'm as you can see like this is like really thick and i kind of want to just like take maybe like a third of it to half and make it purple at the top not the whole thing just the top portion right here and yeah and the top part's kind of dark but then it gets like pretty light right here and i just want it to be a little bit darker here and i don't know if you can tell in this lighting the UV and this, right in this area is not as bright as down here so I wanted to kind of um, fix it <laughs> I might be a little chaotic. <laughs> I might do something chaotic. I might just do something chaotic. You know what? Okay, I'm trying so hard to not make this a fail. I'm going to wet the green part. I'm not gonna redo the whole head. I'm only gonna focus on the green part in this video where I'm trying to get this band gone and then we're gonna try again because I just can't. I don't, lived with it for a week and I don't wanna live with it anymore. <laughs> we are going to just focus on this band here. And I got a little tiny <laughs> bit of bleach. I'm wetting it since I'm doing I have 30 volume developer. It doesn't need to stay on very long, hopefully. Um, but that's what we have going. I'm gonna look in the mirror. <laughs> Okay, so I rinsed out this section because I did it first and all of the green is out of my hair. So when I dyed it a week ago and the bleach definitely got the hair color out. So here's the green that I made and it's a good portion of the green I just made and a little bit of the chartreuse and a little bit of the bond so it's there in it. I'm going to put it on 
and hopefully it works out okay. I will say the sustainer um, is kind of sticky, not really sticky, but definitely gave me that, um, what's it called, hot glue, like stringiness to it, but I squirted some onto my little dye palette, just something that I find interesting, and it kind of made the whole mixture not really sticky, but give all that sticky appearance. It's also making a bit more of a squishy sound. Just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I just finished applying the purple and the green. And we're going to see what it looks like under UV light. So I'm going to turn the lights off. And I find it works best when I have the flashlight pointed at the mirror and you can kind of see what's going on. You can see the UV react like lights like here, not really in this portion, and the green. It looks really cool in the mirror. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna let this sit on my head for, let me see, maybe an hour. And then we'll rinse it off and I'm gonna do style it and you will see it in the morning when I have makeup on because I'm gonna be filming some videos tomorrow. And because I have a haul, after this video is going to be my Joann's haul and so be ready for that, which I might have come out this weekend. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit. And after I do my um, Comic-Con like cosplay, I'm gonna start getting this purple out of my hair like almost immediately. I'm gonna be doing um, vitamin Cs. I might even buy what is it called? Um, actual like hair color removal for like semi-permanent color for the purple because I want to be able to do the colors for the next year because I already picked them out. I already picked them out. <laughs> I saw them on Underground Cosmetics and I cannot wait for the new year to dye my hair that color because I'm not doing it until the new year. And so... Uh, after Comic-Con, it's get this purple out of my hair because it's for Halloween and Halloween is the end of the month and after that I can just try to get this color out. I'm going to spend November and December getting this color out of my hair. Like, updating on the, um, what I did the last video. <laughs> The last video I used the Age Beautiful Hyper Lift color. It's not bad. Well, now that I've actually put the green on my hair because I used a very light green and even though I darkened it up just a little bit, it did show up very nicely on the hair. I do want to say that it was probably a level eight or nine. I'm not sure the actual numbers um, of lift that it got me to, which isn't bad but I'm probably going to stick with cream lighteners. I've never used a powder lightener. I've only used cream products because I heard they were better for your hair and they're easier to like mix up and stuff. So I am going to probably find, see if I can find a different cream lightener. But yeah, that's like my little update and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, that's what it looks like. Again, I'm going to probably fix this part off camera. So when I was editing the video, I realized I didn't get my final thoughts on the color. And then I did it, I filmed it yesterday so I can just add it into the end of the video. And for some reason the sound wasn't working. So I'm here doing it again, barefaced. So 
yeah so I tried four of their colors and I recommend all of them I will say when you have this shade make sure your hair is really light and there's no previous color in it so that it shows up nicely um, but if your hair is like slightly darker I would just go with neon green um, personally that's what I would say for that one and between neon purple and bold violet um, whichever color you prefer because they both are really nice and this one's just slightly more pinky hue and this one's slightly more blue I would say still very nice colors and I recommend both of them bold, violet, bold green is a nice color I diluted it and it worked out nicely and the illuminate shade this one they have three mixer shades they have blackout which makes the colors darker they have this one I don't know the name of it but it mutes colors so if you have like bold violet it would be more of a muted violet and they have the illuminate which um, makes colors lighter and they all glow under UV light and so I recommend it if you want that I don't think it's completely necessary as a for a purchase if you like tight on money you just want to get one color and you had conditioner already it should still work because when I diluted um, not necessarily this when I diluted with like a conditioner that's like for, with protein and moisture to protect my hair um, it still glowed very nicely and so this is not necessary I just kind of wanted it um, to test it out and it glows under UV light it's actually pretty cool so if you had a color that didn't glow and you add it to this it should glow um, so yeah again I mixed when I mixed the color originally for this one and I used green apple from adore it doesn't glow and I'm mixing it into the color that already glowed it was able to glow just fine so it should work based off that information and I definitely recommend this brand the only downside I would say is the smell I'm not a huge fan of it but that's just a personal preference um, I'm still gonna order from them my next color is going to be coming from them I'm gonna dig into their pastel shades so stay tuned for that that one is gonna be sometime in the new year I think because I'm gonna be spending a lot of time trying to get the darker color purple out of my hair so yeah those are my thoughts on that. But that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload. Try to upload on Tuesdays on this channel. In the month of October, I'm going to be posting a bit more frequently over here. My social medias are linked in the description box down below if you give me a follow. And until next time, drink some water, eat a snack, play with a fidget toy, and enjoy the rest of the spooky season. Bye!